Martinez, please. This is an emergency. I told the police that Julie was kidnapped. They say they've got to wait for the kidnappers to make a move. I don't know, a ransom note or something. Well, that's, that's customary procedure. But this case is different. Government agencies have been involved in a cover-up right from the start. Now, you've got enough muscle to get to the bottom of this. You've got to help Julie. I don't have that much muscle. Mr. Jameson, a girl's life is at stake. The government has put on the clamps. I was approached by the State Department and asked to keep this very quiet. National security. The FBI is carrying the ball. They're looking out for government interests. I'm looking out for Julie. Well, obviously, all the agencies will try to help a kidnap victim. Oh, yeah, so long as it doesn't interfere with national security. If you've got any information, I'll pass it along to the FBI. No, I told the police everything I know. Well, then we're stymied. No, wait. There's, there's one lead. There's one lead that we haven't followed yet. Huh? What's that? The guy in jail. The guy who broke into Julie's. The police questioned him for hours. They got absolutely nothing on him. That's right. So why keep him there? Are you suggesting that any criminal who refuses to talk should be released from jail? What if the Bugle were to put up his bail money? Oh, that's ridiculous. It's our only chance. If he's out of jail, I'll follow him and maybe he'll lead me to Julie. The Bugle's not about to throw away $5,000 on some criminal who'll undoubtedly jump bail. He'll figure out he's being released so he can be followed. He'll lose you and refuse to go near any of his associates. But Julie has been killed. Now, she could be killed. But call her paper. Let them put up the bail. And maybe get a beat on the story if the kidnappers are captured. Well, I guess my better judgment. Give me the accounting department. Very good news. But you know, I was unhappy about having to wait until Tuesday. I can deliver the papers this afternoon. Do you have the money ready? Wonderful. I'll see you in an hour. We're clearing out. Check the apartment, make sure there's nothing there to connect us. What about her? She could identify us. A situation you'll have to correct. Right.
How did you get out? Bail, you put it up, didn't you? No, you were set up. Set up by who? Well, you followed. No, I was careful. Of course you were followed. Why else would they let you out? No chance. I was real careful to see that nobody followed me. In fact, I wore this. Nobody would know me. Oh, I'm not even going to talk to you. Get rid of her. We're clearing out fast. <laughs> of the Empire State Building. Tell the police there's a kidnapping in progress. Thanks. Please get me loose before any newspaper men show up. I've got to get my camera. Hey, what are you doing? I need the pictures. Okay. Here, I'll take these off your feet. There, you should be all right now. Oh, wait, finish up. Here come the Marines. You'll be all right. This is page one. I don't know how you did it. Well, to tell you the truth, Spider-Man took that picture and he gave it to me. I don't care who took it as long as we can use it. That's a great job. As a matter of fact, if it hadn't been for Spider-Man... Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm only interested in the end results. On the other hand, are you trying to tell me that you couldn't do your job if it weren't for Spider-Man's help? <laughs> Why am I paying you? For pictures, Mr. Jameson. Just like the one you have right here in your hand. Right, Pete? Right. <laughs> Man, you left yourself wide open in there. A few more seconds, Jameson would figure out some questions you might not want to answer. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Would you like me to try and think of some? No. <laughs> 